brought to you by the Every Dollar app. Start budgeting for free today. Uh, so, quick question. Uh, my wife won't let us let go of the last credit card, and I just need your help convincing her. What is her reason? She kind of likes the, the buffer of it. Um, you know, we just pay pay it off at the end of the month. She kind of likes the, the thought of the safety and the travel. My friend's gotten stranded before, and all he had was a debit card, so he wasn't able to rent a car to get home. All right, question and for you, Charles. Re- question. Yeah. What's the limit on this one card that you guys have? What's the max you could charge on it? Oh, uh, I don't know, about 5000 or so. I got an idea. I'd come up with $5,000 and say, babe, I have replaced the comfort of the credit card with the absolute max that we could borrow. And so I've got an additional five grand in our emergency fund. That's why the emergency fund exists anyway. But I just, George, I've long since wanted to answer this question this way, and I haven't had an opportunity to. It hit me. Here it is. Not too long ago. So if it's about the actual security... Yep. Let's go put the cash of the max amount that you could borrow, and then I would close the account, and I wouldn't ask permission. Okay. I'd cut the card There's up some really simple account. workarounds, Charles, and I could like hit you with, here's what you could do, here's what you could do. The truth is, this is emotional for her. It's been a security blanket for a long time. That's right. And she's not yet convinced herself that she has become the bank. You guys are in a place where you have the money to cover an emergency, right? Right. So if I told right. you, yeah, well, well, have your account, let's say you can open a, a separate checking account. Like, for example, Charles, Charles Schwab has one that's like the investor checking. It has a debit card. You can use it internationally. There's no fees. And you could just use that fund for travel and never touch your actual bank checking account. You see where I'm going with this? Yeah. I use see. as much as you need for travel and you have yeah. your checking account separate in case there was fraud for backup. That's a solution. And what would she yeah. say to that? Um, I, I think that she might go for that. And let, let me tell you the reason that it's only maybe is she can't stand the Ramsey plan. Uh, there oh, it is. Well, ding, there, ding, ding. See, and that's there exactly, by the way, what I was doing, Charles, was being a little sneaky by addressing yeah. what she's presenting as the problem. And then when we provide a solution to that problem, we find out what's really going on. And yeah. this, this would reveal that, George. Both your idea and my idea would reveal, yeah. oh, it's something else. I just don't like those. So people. why doesn't she? What, what like really ticks her off about the Ramsey plan? It's probably you. That actually that would track. Like uh, <laughs> no, actually, George is, is who got me into the Ramsey plan. I didn't like it at first either. And George really, he's a real good salesman. Wow. I know, I know. I was just thinking that yeah, maybe that your means wife. The world, I thought maybe your wife didn't like you. I was trying to come up with something. Well, maybe your wife would like Rachel. Yeah. Is that a good? You why, know, yeah. Rachel's inoffensive. <laughs> Everyone loves Rachel. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So she, why do you? Why, feels like uh, it's restrictive or intense? Or what is for broke people? Okay. Well. That it hurts is. my feelings. It is for broke people. <laughs> it, it is. And, and it's for um, rich people. Well, know, they become rich. Right. Right. Luckily, we, we skipped, you know, baby steps one, two, and three when we found Ramsey. And uh, she just feels like it, it isn't for us. Oh, because um, you were already really, you were already technically in our baby step four when you found us? That's correct. Okay. So, what right, is your household income? Through one, two, and three. Are uh, you right guys? Now it's one twenty. Okay. Are you guys exactly where you want to be financially? Do you think you could be doing any better, or is she like, "Hey, we are crushing it. Don't mess with it. It ain't broke." She doesn't actually. I feel like she doesn't understand how well off we are. Is she also financially responsible, or or did you kind of? She is extremely financially responsible. I'm actually. I'm the nerd and I'm the right. recluse. So she so there what are the chances that she would not pay off the credit card balance every month? Um I I would say zero, but it actually happened a couple months ago on her own see, car. See? So So she got bit by the snake and she says, No, 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 the snake is still my friend. Yeah. Well it was my fault. We're best buds. I mean, it's right. not the snake's fault. The I, I picked it up. Right, it wasn't a full bite. It was just it, it snapped and, and barely missed her. It was only like a, a ten dollar balance or <sighs> something she forgot. You know, it wasn't big enough to really leave a mark. So here's the deal, Charles. I'm going to send you a copy of Breaking Free from Broke, and in there, I want I want her to read the credit card chapter specifically. 
In the credit card chapter, I cover the eight archetypes that I found of credit card people. The perfect spender, which is the person who says, I pay it off in full every month. I use it just like a debit card, right? The rewards redeemer, which I never pay for, for flights and hotels. I love it. I think she's more of the fraud protector. So number one, she says credit cards are safer. So it's really smart. On top of the world traveler, well, what if we're traveling and we need, it's just more convenient and what if, what if, what if I need to rent a car, which by the way, you can do with a debit card. Uh, and then there's the right. emergency shelter, which she's also this person. I need my card in case of emergencies. What if something happens and we need to put it on the card? Well, that is a, that's kind of a non-starter with me when you guys already have an emergency fund, right? How much do you have in savings? Right. Uh, right now we have a ten thousand dollar emergency fund, and then we have uh, on top of that around uh, seventeen thousand. Oh my goodness! And she still thinks this is the path. Is there more? Is is it a fear thing? Because another one's the fear tranquilizer, who says having a credit card makes me feel more secure. It. I feel like um, part of it. We had a lot of fraud on one of our bank accounts, so sometimes she brings up, "Oh, she doesn't like the bank we have." Switch banks. Um, but I, yeah, I feel like that'd a, be a, a freeze on all of your credit. Switch banks. Yeah, but here's the thing: we got to address the problem. This. Solved. We got to address the relationship piece. So you're going to have to patiently and methodically address all of these concerns for her. Um, yeah. I don't. I don't. Or else you guys are going to still be at odds over this. This is not. You know, I said this earlier, and I was being glib, and I need to retract it. You know, for your marriage, I wouldn't just go behind your back and 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 turn yeah. it off. Uh, I want to make sure I, w I was kidding around about that, and I wanted to correct that. And and because here's the reality, this is about vision casting, and you're gonna have to just walk her through these fears. Yeah, hang on, we'll shot send you that have. book, Charles. Yeah, hang on, we'll get you George's book, Breaking Free from Broke. Create your free every dollar budget today. The simplest way to budget for your life.